Welcome back to Building Character, where we figure out how to play as your favorite fictional characters in Destiny 2. Remember to like and subscribe for better internet connection next time you play. Maybe. So, his mutations granted him enhanced senses that allowed him to perceive electromagnetic frequencies, uh, which meant that the maps of enemy-controlled regions may be wrong, he rarely was. He's an agile fighter, able to perform flips and kicks while using his blaster, and strikes with his weapons. Now he regularly utilized a DC-17 hand blaster in most of his episodes. He also uses a DC-17M interchangeable weapon system and a vibro knife. Now the interchangeable weapon system I've already covered with Wrecker, but for him it's going to be a little bit different. Although combat proficient with blasters, uh, he preferred to engage opponents with his knife at close quarters. Now, for the goals of the build, we obviously want to make sure that we have enhanced senses. If anyone's going to be doing the sneaking, the tracking, the hunting, it's this guy. And also, he needs to be able to be agile, so mobility needs to be up there quite high, be able to do flips, kicks. Now, for equipment, this is going to be pretty easy with some freedom. So, the most easy thing we need to have is a hand blaster. So, in our case, that could be a sidearm or it could be a hand cannon. And then we also must have uh, some sort of knife, some sort of blade at all times um, because we want to encourage the close quarter combat. He does use an interchangeable weapon system sometimes and those things could be an assault rifle, it could be a grenade launcher, it can also change into a sniper rifle. So in this case for Hunter, we'll use it as an invitation to pick whatever you want. Whatever works for you for the build, you can choose it. So it could be any random weapon you choose plus always have a pistol and a, some sort of blade. That could be with your super, your finishers, or even with your heavy weapon. This is the first build I'll be showing you. This is the armor that I've used to look the part. Uh, these grips are pretty much essential because the only one I can find that has the blade on the forearm. I think it looks pretty decent. And I am using the New Age Black Armory uh, paint job <laughs> skin color, so I can actually. Uh, it's the only thing that works for the Bad Batch for Wrecker, Crosshair, Hunter, and then Tech will probably be a different color. So let's go ahead and go up. Now for the Super, this one he punches for his charge melee, so we have to compensate that for the the blade. So we're gonna put a sword here. We got our sidearm and then our random weapon. I like this, the Risk Runner, for this build because it just goes with the theme of lightning and electricity. Now I focus mainly on in intellect because I want my super as often as possible. That's how I play the game. And then recovery and mobility obviously need to be really high too. Uh, for this build, when you put Assassin's Cal with Dynamo uh, mods, if you can put two of them on there, Go ahead and do it. So you put this one, reduces super cooldown when using your uh, using ability near enemies. It is ridiculous how quick you can get your super right back, especially the higher this is. You're doing your super like 10 times in just one strike, or at least a few times when you're doing like eliminations or other, you know, PVP uh, game modes. Now this is also important to know that for those of you who like to do Arc Strider top tree, this is for you because melee kills recharge your dodge ability. And you want that dodge ability to get the get your super. And if you click this one, dodging your enemies fully recharges your melee ability. So you basically just go back and forth. You hit somebody, go invisible, dodge near them, get your super, get, add to your super, and then you get your melee back. So you punch someone again, you kill them, and you just repeat the cycle over and over and over. Now for those of you that still want to play with the Arc Strider and want to play more competitively and build on top of the survivability, you want to go with the bottom tree, Way of the Wind. Uh, you're hard to kill while dodging in your super. So you're dodging around, you're hard to kill. And then if you make a mistake, you, could, you have the, the Worm Husk Crown. This one gives you health, a uh, small amount of health and shield bump when you do dodge. And if you put two dynamo mods on this thing, oh man, it's so nasty. You're getting your super back 
way quicker than you should. Swap it out with the shotgun, you should be pretty sad. Okay, now this class is for those of you that like to play with stasis. Now, first and foremost, uh, we have our pistol, sidearm. This one's great, it's tons of fun to use. It's an adaptive frame, that's good. Now, when he punches, he doesn't, he punches, he doesn't use a knife. So, what we can do to uh, fix that is give him a blade. So, this was the best one I thought would work. It's small, like a knife, you know, it's not dramatic like these other ones, spinning the circles or slamming the ground. So we have the sword, and then the random gun. So this one's great. I love this one. It's such a game changer. So let's get into this. Now to replace the throwing knives, uh, obviously you want to pick, pick these. These shurikens are dope. It's like a blade. You know, it works the same way. So that's really fun. There's all kinds of ways you can combo this. And those are basically my top builds for Hunter. With these combinations of abilities and equipment, I felt like I had the vibe of Hunter the whole time playing, and I hope that you're able to find that too. And that's pretty much it for the video, so I hope you did like it. If you have any recommendations for characters I should try out, or even builds that you've made that I can try out and showcase, I would really like to do that, so let me know. But other than that, checking off, have a good day.